Hello, hello, you watch but heard developer channel. Here I am developing a portal for musicians, fans and organizers of music events. Now I will tell you about a very, very useful things for a Laravel developer. But first, please understand that I live in Ukraine and Russian is trying to kill me and everyone I know. Please support Ukraine and don't believe Russian propaganda. Thank you. So I will quickly indicate and demonstrate the problem. Laravel and Eloquent have many dynamic properties and methods, what is often called magic in a bad sense. The positive side of this approach is that the developers do not need to describe a lot of everything. The negative side is that the developers do not know that this a lot of everything already exists. But developers usually don't know a lot. And that's okay. The problem here is that IDE doesn't know about the existence of all these dynamics, property and methods. Autocomplete does not work and IDE highlights a lot of code, hinting that methods and properties do not exist, but the code works without problems. Pick demo. By default, Laravel has a user model. It exists in the database, has some default properties, name, ID, password and etc. I am writing a very simple code. I will take the first user and will try to get at least something from the ID, some field, ID, name, password, whatever. And how to see Laravel does not know anything. In the code there is no information about ID, name or other fields, but the code code will work. We have a simple easy solution. Laravel idea helper, two simple installation commands, composer rec laravel idea helper and publish config file. And quick explanation. Idea helpers creates helper files, which contain a description of the classes and their methods, but the classes are extended by php doc blocks with a description of all dynamic properties, methods, with a description of return types, description of instances currently in used inside facades and etc. Describe all magic. Don't worry if it sounds difficult. We set up it once and we will almost never return to this issue. So go to config idea php and remove comment from post migrate command. Idea helper models dash dash no write. First I will explain how the command work. It literally reads the schema of your database and it creates doc block with all schema properties and methods like where name, where id and etc and write this doc blocks to the separated file or to the model class. Please never save to a model class. This will make the model file large. It needs to be reviewed and most importantly, it has no payload. Every developer can create their own help file in seconds. But I advise you to run command with write mixin option. This will also edit the model file, but once. We'll add a help file mixin that will save us from duplicate declaration warnings. And as the name suggests, this command will run after each migration. Let's test. PHP artisan migrate rollback and PHP artisan migrate. Model information was written to idea helper models. So go back to my test code and you see what's going on. Idea offers autocomplete options, id, name, password and etc. All database fields. But Laravel still has some magic. It is corrected by the command. php artisan idea helper generate. Here the idea helper examines all Laravel's facade, all helpers and etc. There is also an idea helpers meta command generates a help file for the php storm idea. I recommend the PHP Storm and use it myself. So I also use this command. And also I found a secret command. It is secret because there are no words about it in the documentation. Idea helper eloquent. But this command does not generate a help file. It adds a mixins to the base model class. Yes, to the vendor directory. It adds eloquent mixin, eloquent query builder mixin and database query builder mixin. It is very useful, makes the idea understands that the model class work as a database query builder. And it is very useful when you write your own scoped functions. I have added these mixins manually to each model before, so I will use this command as well. Sorry, I don't use it in the video because I found it later and Russia left my district without electricity for several days. I don't have the energy to reshoot. Next, I need to make sure that the helper will work for the whole 
whole team without reminders. So, first I add helper model command to pre-commit hook and be sure to run this command before editing style code. It is important so that developers cannot push the model without a mixing. Other developers will not have to think about what to do with these changes and get what conflicts. Now I go to composer.json file. To avoid duplication, I will collect all idea helper commands in one composer script and will run it on each composer install and composer update events. I understand that it's make no sense to run a model generate command during initialization, but it will still execute normally during the first migration. And also be sure to add all helps files to git ignore file. There is no point in reviewing and saving them. And for reliability add the files to docker ignore file. And that's all. The idea helper is configured. Also have to say here, magic in models can be removed in another way. For example, using laravel lift package. This will turn eloquence into something similar to docker will force you to describe all model properties i don't like it i love active records specifically for the very small and teeny models but i understand the desire to use such solutions and finally if you listened to this point and you are using php storm a small bonus if you try to write any fields in the query builder for example small select query idea doesn't help this is a string for your idea it is bad it is a space for mistakes so i advise you to use a simple PHP Storm plugin, Laravel query, simple install, and I have to connect database to my PHP Storm. Simply enter database credential, and that's all. I'm going to select query, and as you can see, idea offers me autocomplete from the database. As a bonus, it will highlight all entities that are not in the database. This greatly speeds up debugging. And that's all. Thank you.